welcome back to Night Owl Collage. I'm Amber and today it's time to embellish the cover and put the finishing touches on this journal and it'll be done. So you might notice that it looks a little different. So um, what happened was the washi tape around here kept peeling. It was driving me crazy. No matter what I put on it, whatever glue I put on it, it was not staying down. So I ended up covering it with some of the leftover fabric strips I had. So that works a lot better. And then I started working on the cover, trying to figure out what I wanted to do. So I wanted to do these flaps like this. So I used that pink um, thick index card or um, divider. Uh, that I had to put this flap and this was a strap from the bag and then I put some stuff on the inside here I'm going to embellish this more and I did I used this uh the big brown bear book that was a page inside that the only page that I liked <laughs> so I used that to cover this and I did add more magnets to the cover so that it would close properly <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this to this cover. Oh, I actually did one more thing. So the way I had it like this was that this was the cover and this was the cover, which meant that you wouldn't see this cover. So I actually turned this around and rebound it so that this side is the cover so that you'll see this cover and this cover. So that's another thing I, I went ahead and did. So again, I'm gonna use this. I'm not sure what I'm going to put up. Maybe just retro I might put on there. I'm not sure um, what I want to stamp on there or put lettering on yet. Um, and then I'm going to put some kind of ephemera in here. And then on this one, this is going to be the cover. So it's going to sit in like this, but this is the size you'll see on the outside. I'm using the big brown bear pieces from this book. I'm going to cover those in this pink fabric here and they these are going to be flaps as well so why don't we get started on that part so I went ahead and I took this pink fabric and I backed it with some um, fusible web so that the glue wouldn't show through when I'm gluing this so I'm going to go ahead and glue this down. Hopefully it won't be too thick. And we can just... The flap will still work properly. That's what I'm hoping. But if not, I'll just use the bag um, handle like I did before. I'm just going to glue put my glue on my piece here, get the stray piece here. I'm using PVA glue for this. Get this in the crease here. Won't this be exciting to get this journal done? I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. There's been a few hiccups along the road, but you know, I think it's coming along really nicely and it really helped me do my, uh, the one for my, my husband it turned out beautifully. I love that one absolutely so much. <clears throat> well, for me and my husband, actually. I'm gonna let that sit for a minute and do the other one. Okay, I'm gonna set my glue and glue brush to the side for a second. And I'm gonna cut this down to the size that I need it. And we're gonna do three quarters of an inch on each side of this. Okay, so I want three quarters inch um, 
margin on each side here. Oh, that curved. That's okay. Not a big deal. This will just give us a nice, neat edge, even though we're going to cover it up. I still like a bit of neatness. Okay, now I'm going to cut the angles at a 45 degree angle. Here's my 45 degree angle here. And I'm just going to make a pencil mark so I can just cut it with my scissors. Okay. Let me get this close to the line here. a little bit wide there but we want to leave a little bit um, a little bit of space between the corner and the cutting mark but I don't think I need that much cut these down you know I have been watching a lot of like uh movies and tv shows while i've been in bed sick but one show like i haven't watched but i, I kind of am interested to know what it's about is yellowstone i know like uh rachel on her channel rachel bella crafts has talked about that show and i have no idea what it's about but i hear about it everywhere like i see the merchandise everywhere i even have my husband bought me a sherpa blanket but it's a yellowstone blanket and i don't we don't even know we've never watched the show i don't even know what it's about so if anyone wants to let me know if it's any good if i should watch it i'm kind of curious because it's just seems like everybody's talking about it and there's stuff everywhere okay now we need to get our glue back and I need some glue paper so I'm going to do I guess it's kind of square so it doesn't really matter which two st sides I start with but we're gonna glue the top and bottom and then the sides Like one show that I've been watching with my husband, it's, I just think it's hilarious, is um, Worst Cooks in America. Uh, that show is just hilarious. I really like um, Chef Ann Burrell. I think she's funny. But it's quite the show hard to believe some people are such bad cooks <laughs> but you know if you never learn you never learn but they go on the show to learn right so good for them I'm glad to say I have never sent anyone to the hospital with my cooking and I have never burn down the house <laughs> so I've got that going for me it may not be the best cook but at least I haven't made anybody sick maybe I should knock on wood <laughs> Maybe I will make someone sick now. But 
but I actually um, love cooking more than baking. My daughter, my both like two of my daughters love to bake, um, but cooking is really what I like. There's something about chopping up vegetables that I just is very calming to me. Okay, so we've got that one covered. Okay, I had to stop filming for a bit, so I did a couple of things in the interim. So I added letters to this little sign piece and just stuck it on. It was already had stickers on the back, so I just stuck that on there. Um, I um, cut these down for the back of the other flaps. I'll show you those in a minute, but I wanna go ahead and finish this side. So I want to put something on the inside here. And I'm thinking about doing just like a little collage here. Um, maybe something, yeah, something like this. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and glue this down. I think I want kind of a bolder line over here on this drink label. I'll try to use this one just for a bit of a bolder line. Okay. And then I want to use this, uh, I guess you would call it yarn, to border this because um, this is looking very plain so I want to and it kind of matches the colors in these letters so I want to use this so I'm going to use this to brighten up give more interest to this panel here use my fabric tag There's our cute border. And the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to add a magnetic closure to this. I love these tiny little magnets. They're so cute. They're so useful. So I'm going to add a double magnet to this side. Just kind of gonna eyeball middle here we have a nice circle of super glue and let, oh it slid lay my double magnet there and then I'm going to put tab of glue on the top magnet and then press it down on this side. Let that hold for a few minutes. While that is drying, we're going to come to this cover. So I have these two flaps. Okay. That I covered on the inside of the flap. I'm going to put these um, cutouts from postcards that I had. I have more postcards to use. So I'm just going to glue those on with my Fabri Tac. Some New York City stuff. This is Central Park. I've never been to Central Park. I've been to New York, 
um, but I have not been to like New York City. Um, I've been to Palmyra, New York. And I passed through New York to get to Niagara Falls. But I've never been to the Big Apple. It's kind of intimidating. I know a lot of people love it, but I'm kind of uh, quiet. I like the I like the countryside. But it would probably be a pretty fun trip to take sometime. To see the sights. And I have this little label. This is Central Park label. I cut from the postcard. So I'm just going to stick it right there. And I have one for the Statue of Liberty. This one, Liberty Enlightening the World. Where I'll put it here. I'll put it on the other side. So that will be the inside of the flaps. Now on the front of the flaps, uh, I'm gonna do like a rock and roll um, type theme for this one, you know, America, rock and roll, that kind of thing. Um, I'm gonna start with this um, half record. I'm just using um, Fabri-Tac on these just because it is all being layered on top of this fabric. So I want to make sure it stays pretty good. Okay, we've got our vinyl. And then I have this kind of thumbs up here, which I think is kind of cute. Right there. Losing out a little bit. Hopefully that will dry nicely. And then I've got this rock and roll. Um, it's from like, a, it's from a magazine. I just cut it at these angles so it looks pretty cool. That rock and roll on there and then I have this uh, cassette tape charm. Which I'm going to stick right there. Okay, so that is my first flap. And my second flap, I have this um, Life, like for the Life magazine, it's a Life ad here. And I have this like film strip type thing. So I want to kind of put that maybe underneath here. And like these slides, I think maybe underneath. I wonder if I just like, I wonder if I could just pop that out. Oh, I like that, the little film strip thing. Oh, that's cool. I kind of like that. So let me see how I want to use this. I really love these vintage ads and things, but I think it would be really fun to do a journal from when I was a kid, um, late 80s, early 90s. I think that would be a lot of fun too, because I actually kind of um, know about that kind of pop culture. So um, the stuff I'm not really sure I'm getting right. Because um, it could be mixed decades here and everything. But I'd love to do an 80s one. That would be a lot of fun. Just remembering my favorite toys and shows. I loved My Little Pony, Care Bears, Strawberry Shortcake. Loved all that stuff. 
Okay, so we're going to place these onto the cover like so. Just like this. All right, I think I'm going to use super glue for these. No, I really hate super glue because I always get it on my fingers. Okay, we're gonna let that set and then we're gonna do the inside. We're also gonna add magnetic closures to this. Come back to this one for a second, make sure that the magnetic closure is good. All right, that's good. So that one is good and done. And then, so we just need to, to do this one. So I want to do another like little collage thing in the top. So I want to use the jukebox. And probably a waitress. I might have to scrap the waitress covers up the jukebox too much. Do you like a music? Maybe something like this. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Okay, we're gonna move on to this one. And I think I want to use this, but I need to cut it down. slightly more and maybe I'll use this one in here and waitress I don't know if I want the right waitress in there because it she has taken up a lot of space I do have another pennant here. I don't think I actually like the pennant. Let me see. I think I can deal with that, but I think I want to outline these. Okay. So we're going to glue down that little film strip thing first, if I can find it. It went missing. Oh, there it is. It's still in there. Okay. I'm going to glue that in there. Fabri Tac. Okay. So now we need to put on the magnets and we will be done. Okay. We're going to put on these magnets now. open this up eyeball the center I'm not gonna let the magnet slide this time very far <laughs> okay and this one Those magnets just want to slide, don't they? And then glue on the tops. And yes, I did get super glue on my fingers. Close those down and I was wrong there was one there's still one more thing we need to do we need to add these charms so I'm trying to decide which charm I think the blue one over here and this one over here 
your like little wine glass charm things. So I think I'm just gonna add them to the top right corner of each one. All right, so let's see how this looks all together. It's kind of wild and crazy, isn't it? So this is the front one. This one's gonna go back here. This one locks in. And I'm just going to follow, I'm going to look at the bottom here as I flip the signatures where one begins and the other ends, or should I say that the other way, one ends and the other begins. So I'm just flipping along the signatures to get them in place. There we go. these make sure this locks in here that's locking in there and this one locks into place here and there we go check that out so it's gonna sit like that so I mean you could put it down like this because these will be out of the way they're big enough um, and there it just locks into place like this we've got um, our front here of uh, the vertical journal with a flip out here and we've got these two flip outs on the back but this will be a horizontal journal with these little flip outs how cool is that wow I mean it's kind of wild and crazy because of like there's so many colors and I mean I had to work with what was in the box and then I had to um, redo the washi tape so it's kind of just wild and crazy looking but I think it's a lot of fun and it's a new concept it's really cool I think that I'm gonna make definitely make more of these double journals these best friend or couple journals I absolutely love them um, and I love putting them together I'm gonna make some more little improvements to it and it'll probably end up in my shop. So be on the lookout for that if you're interested. And um, let me know what you think in the comments below. And um, if you'd like to see more of these, this has been really fun. And I thank you for joining me in this. And I'll be posting this um, in the Mindful Challenge Junk Journaling group to see if I win for the month. So if you're interested in that challenge subscription box, I'll put that information in the box below as well. And again, thanks for watching with me, guys, and going on this journey with me. It's been a lot of fun. Have a great day, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.